Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, we are going to do Tribal Hydras. We lost the Hate Seed. There are only three legendary Hydras. Uh, Pelucranos, Progenitus, and Ulash here. So, Hail Hydra. Okay, um, the very first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to play, you know, we want to play a bunch of land. So, the Rampant Growth, the Sky Shroud Claim, Explosive Vegetation are obviously includes. Now, the Boundless Realms, in this deck, is not really a win more. It's, um... It's pretty necessary to double up your lands. Of course, I'm running an exploration and double meat, double cheese because, you know, why not? And once we get those lands, we're going to want them to produce double mana with Zendikar Resurgent, and we get to draw cards. We are not heavy on the card draw. This is red green, obviously. Vernal Bloom, since most of our search stuff gets. Um, forest anyway and the care matches dictate also have you know a, a decent amount of artifact mana some of the more weird ones in there but it's all about the ramp and while Ulash is not probably how you're gonna win it is about generating the mana because a lot of your Hydras are X spells. So I do not have anything infinite in the deck to create just a stupidly large Hydra, but um, I don't think it requires infinite to have a stupid large Hydra. Now, as far as uh, cards with Hydra in the name that are not Hydras, there's one. And it's really good. Devotion to Green with the enchantments and the creatures that you're going to have out, probably pretty good. Fires of Yavimaya does give them haste. Mighty Emergence. Because they're, they're all just about going to be Power 5 or better, so you get two free counters on them. When they attack, they get Double Strike. Goblin War Drums. I don't know if Goblin War Drums has been uh, errated to say your creatures have menace, but that's what it is. Some of these guys actually do not have Trample, so Primal Rage solves that particular problem. Sweltering Suns is a um, Better Clasm, I, I, I guess. Kills all the little things, which I do believe is nothing we have. We can cast this and it can just not affect our board. Maybe some of the saps that Ulash, you know, you made from Ulash, maybe. Ah. Harmonize. Praetor's Council is just absolutely beautiful. I know I've, I've harped on it before, but man... Especially in decks where mana cost is not an issue. In, gr in this green and red, we are going to have a ton of mana. So playing the big spells is not as much a of a drawback because we will actually be able to play them. And that is why I included Wildest Dreams. I don't have this card. I don't think it's in any other deck I've got because of just the mana intensity. Because you're going to want to get back a bunch of cards. Well, you know what? We got a bunch of mana. So, Seasons Past is, uh, I, I mean, wow. This can, uh, there have been times I have played Seasons Past and literally gotten back my entire graveyard. Decimate, because one for four is really good. And Monstrous Onslaught. Now, it, it does... This is green direct damage. It's okay. It's allowed because it's tied to a creature. But the reason why I have it in there is because there's a freaking Hydra in the art. And it makes a ton of sense. Now, I'm running the Naturalize because, you know, sometimes stuff just got to go. Heaven to Earth. I actually replaced Hurricane with this because... 
Hurricane does hit players. Sometimes it's valuable. Sometimes it's not. But this is your hurricane and earthquake at the same time. So it's not bad. And of course, fling. Because sometimes you need that fling to kill that last player. You know, to throw a bunch of damage to somebody's face. Early harvest will untap. All, all your basics so you can it's potentially a mana doubling for one shot on your basics to to get up over the bump and have that really big hydra of course warstorm herd or warstorm surge is uh the personal pandemonium it's it's the safe pandemonium that's why i call six instead of four now let's get into the hydras think what we'll do is we'll do the red hydras first since there is not that many <laughs> jokers versus legacy gave us the molten hydra now does start off as a 1-1 one, one. that is not amazing it can put counters on itself that is a colon so you can you know if you've got some mana doubling and tripling and whatever Stronghold gave us the Spitting Hydra. It auto comes into play with four. You can remove it to deal damage. Ice Age, though, that's that's uh, the Bald Hydra here. Pretty neat. Now, Savageborn, Double Strike is... Ooh, that is nasty. Apocalypse Hydra. Uh, Amonkhet... Uh, made it into the deck you know uh, honored hydra here and it um it's in balm is cheaper than its original cast so you know i'm good with that i'm even good with a six six trampling you know for six scourge it does come into play as a two two however look at that it can get really big. Mana Gorger is your perfect early play. Oh my gosh, there's nothing greater than turn one Soul Ring, turn two Hydra, or this guy. The Omnivore for when everybody's just got to die. Genesis Hydra, which is probably not going to be a creature. You know, you're probably going to get one of your enchantments or something like that. Because a lot of your creatures, like I said, are X. Or in Reef. I, as Landfall and Forest Fall. Why isn't that a thing? Maybe when we go back, uh, we'll have Mountain Fall, Forest Fall, Plains Fall, whatever. As an improvement upon a, a more specific Landfall. Because I think there's a lot of design space there. Heads up, R&D. Uvenwald Hydra. Primary, or, or the uh, um, the land doubling thing. I can't, it, it, we just talked about it. Really makes this guy good. Feral Hydra. Now, I've played Feral Hydra in other decks, and you would be surprised when you are swinging at somebody how your opponents will pump this Joker. Not worry about it coming at them later, but will just pump it to kill one of their creatures or them or it's really neat now the phyrexian hydra it's a seven seven in fact i i mean it ain't gonna last long but it can primordial <laughs> <laughs> Double up, uh, uh. So, yeah, I, I, I couldn't get that out of my head. The brood mother. This is nuts. Big mana deck, lots of mana generation. Brood mother. Mm. This is probably one of those cards that just you just play it and let it ride. Because they're going to answer this card. They have to. 
they have to answer the brood or, or the brood master, or else it's going to be an issue. Now the hero's bane, we are getting out of the frame here, aren't we? Let's see if we can't move the tripod up a little bit. Hero's bane. Well, that's a dark printed foil that they did with it. Um, this is almost Chameleon Colossus, except it doesn't have Pro Black and the counters. It's counters and not till the turn, which I really like it. Glad it's a Hydra. Glad we get to play with it. Of course, the the Colonian Hydra. When it attacks, double up. Uh. Protein or Protean. I kind of like the fact that he's eating dudes, so I call it protein. There's the Clockwork Hydra. It does pump itself, you know, if you just absolutely got to. And then, of course, Lifeblood, which is... I mean, gain the life. You don't win by the life gain, but... You know, it certainly helps not to lose. Now, as far as crazy lands, this is the only one. Uh, I'm running Scar because, you know, I want to make damn sure that all of them have access to Trample. But that is what I've got for Tribal Hydras or Hail Hydra, whatever you <laughs> want to call it. I do appreciate you watching, but right now, we're going to shuffle and cut.